Hello, my name is Atom, and today I'm going to be reviewing another old piece of crap I found in my wardrobe. And it's another camera, second old camera review thingy. This one is older, I'm guessing, from the style of it. Uh, this case is kind of like a plasticky, fake, leathery one. The little button pops open. It's got some horrible paper stuff stuck to it there. Looks relatively good condition actually. You open it up and it's got this like strange tartany kind of fabric in. And in very faint pencil writing, somebody has written in all capitals the word babe and underlined it. And I don't know why. You can kind of see it. You see the B. And I don't know why. I have no idea. Anyway, see this little button that holds it, open it up, it's tartan material, it's a very old kind of style. It says babe in it, and here is the top of the camera. Take the camera out very carefully, because it's falling apart. And here is the camera. Now, from the style of it, I'm guessing, this is kind of art deco style, but I'm guessing this is from the 1960s. Because the last one was from around the 1970s, and this looks a lot older. It has the the picture uh, lens in the middle, and I don't know if you can see it, but it has completely rusted over. You cannot see in it at all. There's a red hole thing in the back, it's covered in a strange red gauze, I'm guessing to let the light in. And this here, which I originally thought was the flash, is actually the viewing lens. You look through there, and there's rust surrounding it. There's a strange, windy thing up here. I'm guessing it's something to do with the film. And then there's a button here, which I'm guessing you press to take the picture. I don't know how to use this camera. I knew relatively how to use it last time. Uh, but this camera, I've actually forgot to say, is the Kodak Brownie 127 camera. See, it has the Kodak logo. This is Brownie 127 camera. It's like a gold with a strange pattern on it. And it's kind of like a strange grip on the sides here. It's really Art Deco. I can't get over how Art Deco looking it is. It's just. It's quite a nice looking camera if you ignore all the rust and the rot on it. <sighs> this looks like part where you put the film in or something. I'm not sure. This is open to twist. I can't open it because it's like rusted over. Although it actually looks very clean on the bottom, very strangely. Uh, there's the top, from the side, the back, the bottom, from the front again. So this is the Kodak Brownie 127 camera. I heard somewhere that Kodak has actually gone bust now, but I'm not sure. And I'm pretty sure I saw an advert the other day, so they must have been bought out or something. But anyway, another feature, this rope thing, that I'm guessing you put around your neck, so you can hold on to it, is completely covered in a horrible growth. Spent most of its life in a damp, life in a damp flat, I believe. And part of it is being held on by, quite literally, a single thread. Which is why I'm so scared to use it. It's just that one little thread. It's very tangled at the bottom. I don't want to unravel it because it's also hanging on by a few threads. It's just so delicate and I'll, we'll probably end up breaking in a minute. But it's covered in a horrible growth. I will probably need to wash my hands afterwards. But it's still a very interesting camera to look at. It smells very damp, as does the case, which also has some horrible organism in it. Just very damp and old, but it does look very nice. And after the several years of work, you could probably get it to work again because it's still relatively in one piece, but there's lots of rust and rot on it. But it does. I can't get over how nice it looks, like Art Deco style. 
And I, I really like Art Deco style, but there's not really much more I can say about it because it just doesn't do anything anymore. It's just reached this state where I don't know. You can still see relatively well through the viewing. I can see the screen. And it's just a nice looking camera. The Kodak Brownie 127 camera. So I will allow you to look at that for a second as I end the video because there's not much more I can say about it. And here is my camera. Bye bye.